Hi everyone. So this question was asked in Gate 2024 Instrumentation Examination, and uh, I found this question was very conceptual, and uh, not uh, everyone was able to solve this problem. And somewhere I just found uh, this solution to be wrong. Uh, I'm not disrespecting anyone. Uh, like teachers were solving all the problems live, so it is understandable that they would co commit some mistakes. So no disrespect to anyone. Just I am trying to bring my point. What could be the possible possible answer for me? So if anyone is watching, please don't. Uh, please don't think that I am giving any offense to anyone. This is just my uh, just my solution. What should be the answer as per me? So I will give you the co complete concept and we will learn what uh, what they wanted to ask here. Okay. So let's start now. So there is an ADC given to us. There is an analog to digital converter. And a signal, input signal is applied to that analog to signal converter with the, a bandwidth of 500 megahertz. The ADC has a full scale value of 1.4 volt and resolution of resolution of 0.2 volt. So from here you can find the number of levels that would be 7. 1.4 by 0.2. That would be 7. So number of bits required would be 8. Sorry, 3. Number of bits required would be 3. Right. So basically we would need 3 bits to convert our analog to digital. <coughs> To convert our analog signal to digital basically what is what do they mean by that if you already know the concept then you can skip this part so basically your let's assume your input is varying from full scale value is 1.4 let's assume your input is varying from 0 volt to 1 volt and that resolution is 0.2 volt so this magnitude is 0 volt this magnitude is 0. Uh, 1.4 volt so this magnitude will be 0. 0.2 volt let's assume this is 0. 0.4 volt this will be 0. 0.6 volt this is our analog signal. So what will be my digital output? So for 0 to 0 0.2 volt, it will map it to 0, 0, 0 in 3 bits. From 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 volt, it will map it to 1. That means 0, 0, 1. From 0 0.4 to 0 0.6, it will map it to 2. That means 0, 1, 0. Now your input signal can be, can be anything. It can be something like this. It can be anything it can be something like this as well i am just taking an example that if my signal is varying from 0 to 1.4 like this now 0 to 0 0.2 value will be mapped to 0 0 0 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 it will be mapped to the next number then it is mapped to the next number and then 1.4 will be mapped to it will go on like this and 1.4 will be mapped to 1 1 1 so basically we would need total seven levels right if this is 0th level, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, so like that, we need 7 levels. So this is the meaning of, actually, you can say quantization or this is what analog to digital converter does. This was the input, this will be the output you would receive. Right? So now you are needing 3 bits. You need 3 bits. This is B1, B2 and B3. And they are ask, they are saying, it is sampled at Nyquist state. So what will be the Nyquist state? Nyquist state will be... 2 into the input frequency, input bandwidth you can say. So it will be 1 gigahertz. That means it will sample the data after every 1 nanosecond. Nyquist rate is 1 gigahertz. So you can call it 1 nanosecond. That means it will sample the data after every 1 nanosecond. Let's assume this is my input. Let's assume this is my input. This is my input. Okay. This is 0. Let's assume here we get 1 nanosecond, here we get 2 nanosecond, here we get 3 nanosecond, this is our 4 nanosecond. So what it will do? At 1 nanosecond it will sample this data. Let's assume this value is 0.3. So what it will give you? For 0.3 what it will give you? Between 0.2 to 0.4 it samples at 0.10. So it will give you 0.10. At Then again it will sample at this point only. At this point let's assume your value is 0.3 again. So it will give you 0.10. At 3 nanosecond, let's assume value is 0 0.1. So at 0 point, for, 0 point, for 0 to 0 0.2, it samples at 0 only. So what it will give you? At the output, you will receive 0, 0, 0. Let's assume the value here is 0 0.9. So for, let's forget about 0 0.9. 0 0.5. So for 0 0.4 to 0 0.6, where does it sample? For 0, 1, 0. Okay, okay, okay. For 0 0.3, it samples at 0, 0, 1 actually. For 0 0.2 to 0 0.4, it samples at 0, 0, 1. So it would be 0, 0, 1. This would be 0, 0, 1. 
and for 0 0.5 from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 it samples at 0 1 0. So this is the output you will be receiving 0 1 0. So basically they are saying that the final output that you receive that is parallel out that output is parallel and that is going to a converter that will convert it to serial output. So what is happening is let us uh, add a page. So basically what is happening from the ADC this was our ADC. This was your input signal. Here it was your input signal and you are receiving 3 bit of data. Parallelly B0, B1, B3 sorry B2. These are the 3 bits. This is your B0, B1 and B2 and parallelly after every 1 nanosecond at 0, 0 it was 0 only at, at 1 nanosecond you received this after 2 after 1 more nanosecond that means after 2 nanosecond you will receive this after 3 nanosecond you will receive this after 4 nanosecond you will receive this so in every 1 nanosecond you are receiving different bits right or bits can be same as well but in every 1 nanosecond you are getting some output let's just assume you have a block and you receive 3 output from it after every 1 nanosecond so this 3 output will be received after every 1 nanosecond now what you are doing you are giving this data this same data you are giving this same data to a parallel to serial converter parallel to serial converter so basically what is the requirement they are saying that you are sampling at 1 nanosecond you are sampling at 1 nanosecond sampling at 1 nanosecond so basically after 1 nanosecond you need to generate 3 new bits let's assume my initial bits are b0 b1 b2 after 1 nanosecond i need to generate new bits b0 dash b1 dash b2 dash that's for sure because i am sampling at 1 nanosecond so after 1 nanosecond i need to generate new bits now they are saying that currently you are receiving the data in parallel but you have to make it serial you are receiving the data in parallel but you have to make it serial that means you have to receive one of the bits in 1 by 3 nanosecond you have a bandwidth of 1 nanosecond you have this much of time you have time of 1 nanosecond in 1 nanosecond you have to receive 3 bits and that too serially that first B0 will come, then B1 will come and then B2 will come. So you have to receive 3 bits in 1 nanosecond that too serially. So what will be the bit rate, data rate or bit rate because data rate they asked in bits per second, okay, bits per second, in bits per second they asked. So what will be the bit rate that B0 will be there for 1 by 3 nanosecond after 1 by 3 nanosecond b1 will be produced after 1 by 3 nanosecond b2 will be produced so in every 1 by 3 nanosecond new different bit is, is being produced here this b0 will be there for 1 nanosecond b1 will be there for 1 nanosecond and b2 will be there for 1 nanosecond so here your data rate is here your data rate is 1 gigabits per second because in 1 nanosecond so 1 by 1 nanosecond that means 1 giga so here your data rate is 1 gigabits per second but here your data rate will be 1 by 3 nanosecond that means 1 upon 1 by 3 nano so basically it would be 3 gigabits per second so that would be the correct answer 3 gigabits per second this is the correct answer as per me this will be the answer because you are receiving parallel to serial from parallel to serial serially you are receiving the output so in 1 nanosecond time you need to receive 3 bits all are bits only. You can't say that in one nanosecond time I am receiving this complete package. No, no, no. They are asking data rate that is in bits per second. So in 1 by 3 nanosecond, you are receiving 1 bit. So what will be the data rate? That will be 3 gigabits per second. So correct answer would be 3 gigabits per second. So that, that is my approach and I guess this would be the correct answer only. So yeah, no offense to anyone. He was solving the problems live and that too in front of many students and that took that takes a lot of courage. So I really appreciate that but just he, in meantime only he got it wrong. So I just wanted to give the correct solution. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.